So the flood happened maybe at six in the morning because I was still sleeping because when I first started school, I was getting up at 7.30, even though class didn't start till 9.30. I now have a completely different schedule. But um, at the time I was waking up at 7.30, so I don't know why I'm telling all of this, but I'm just trying to remember what happened because that was in September. So yes, we had the flood. I had to get up and go to school. So I got to school, I was stressed out because I had to leave Caleb with all of this to handle. Um, so they dealt with it, they got it all cleaned up, and I swear, when I got back from school, our bathroom was spotless. They cleaned the entire thing. It was, like, beautiful. It was the cleanest I had ever seen it. <laughs> okay, I was like, the two months at that point ish almost two months okay so yeah so anyways i went to school came back it was beautiful we went out to the party um we had these big machines in here that uh that were loud <laughs> that were really loud <laughs> um just to like um air it out and stuff um, the next day, the next day we decided to have a party. So yeah, we went, actually, I'm not even going to explain the whole thing about, no, I am. No, I'm not. The party the night before on the Friday did not go as planned, but it happened somewhere else and yeah so we decided uh, some of us to have a party the next night and we decided to have it here because that's the only way that it would really um, work because they either lived with their parents still or um, lived in residence so it just made more sense to have it here. <laughs> so we did that the next night. Um, and uh, it was fun. It was, it was a party. Um, and then the week after, we had plans to go on a boat. Like a big boat. <laughs> okay, so I have some clearing up to do. Um, okay, so the first flood happened, and the night of that we went out to karaoke, like I said earlier, in, an, in another video, and then the week after was the birthday party, and then the party that happened after. So I know that one of the floods happened, um, the day of the birthday party because it was a Friday and I was in school while it happened like I had an online class and that was on a Friday so I don't know if that was the second or third flood I'm pretty sure it was the third I just can't remember when the second one was so yeah I got all the dates wrong and uh but there was three in total in those two weeks so yeah um like a bunch of us from my class what happens? Another flood. We got another flood on the same day that we had plans. It always happened on the days that we had plans. So, had to get that all fixed. We still went out because it's not our responsibility to fix it because it had nothing to do with us. Um, so they dealt with it. We came back. Um, a couple of people stayed the night here and we just like you know had fun after the boat ride I think uh, no I honestly don't remember anyways we did the boat ride and that yeah <coughs> I think only one person came back after on that night yeah yeah then so that was flood number two 
No. There were three floods. There were three floods in two weeks. Wow, I'm already forgetting that's been, it's been long. It's been a while. It's been like five months. But anyways, all I can remember right now is we had three floods in two weeks. Our clean bathroom did not stay clean. Um, it only got dirtier from then. There were, um, our landlords cleaned it up really, really good the first time. And then other people were supposed to clean it the next time and did an absolute horrible job. So I had to clean the bathroom. Um, so yeah, there was that. Um, then after the three, it was good for a while. But then other things started happening. The people that lived up there stomping constantly um talking extremely loud yelling singing uh moving things around their bed which is literally like right on top um was like one of the loudest beds i have ever heard it was constantly like squeaking and it was like you know those beds that are just like too loud for like no reason at all yeah <laughs> yeah so, mm. yeah, that's, uh, that's how it was. Um, it was hard for me, especially to try and get school done when I had all of these other things going on at the same time. You probably hear them. Um, later found out that... There are people that stay there for three months and then they leave and then other people come for three months and then they leave, but they're all bad. That's all I gotta say. I don't know who they are, but uh, they're loud either way. Okay, I've been hearing a dog up there, so I think there's people with dogs up there now. I mean, love animals, but like, there's just always something going on up there. Always extremely loud. It's still going on. It's been going on since, since September. October, possibly October. Nah. Yeah, because it was good for a while and then it just started and then it's never stopped. Um, so there was that. Um, then uh, our screen door fell off on our balcony door. Um, so that had to get fixed. Uh, the window in here is broken. The screen on the outside is broken. Um, I had to fix the um, the um, the knob uh, for the tub. You know when you turn the water on and you pull the thing so that it switches to the yeah. Uh, broke today, so I had to fix it out as I was going to take a shower. Um, so yeah, I was literally standing there, like, ready to take a shower, and I had to fix this thing. Um, our tap, uh, not tap, our, uh, our, our knob thing at the top of the shower, that came off. Yeah, that just bursted off, so that needed to get fixed. Um, our light bulbs, uh, the whole thing came out of the ceiling, that had to get fixed. Um, Christmas time, uh, we were gone for a month for Christmas and we got a call, um, oh, we got a new landlord, um, after a couple months. Our first ones were amazing and I miss them so much and now we have a new one and, um, yeah, so, <laughs> We got a call December 27th or 28th. I think it was the 27th, actually. We got a call saying that there was a fourth flood in our apartment. They had to take out the floor in the bathroom and in the hallway. They had to take out our toilet. They had to dig holes. They had to do a bunch of plumbing. Ugh. We have spent too much money on towels and um, 
plungers and um, uh, scrubby things for the tub and stuff for the toilet and all of these things that should last you like months and months and sometimes even like years we have had to replace multiple times it sucked when you had a flood flood one day went to buy towels and then you had a flood the next day like and then you had to throw those towels out we spent too much money on those things and that is not something as you know a college student and two people who are just starting for themselves that is not something that we should have had to do but we had to spend money on things that we shouldn't have had to so um yeah <laughs> um so yeah so we have a new bathroom floor a new hallway floor uh the plumber broke our toilet seat in September and we didn't get it fixed till December because we couldn't get anyone to fix it when we needed it fixed. They said they would come and fix it and then they didn't and then it was months and months. We finally got it fixed. Um, we don't have holes in our bathroom anymore. We had holes um, under the sink. It's still there. I had to cover it up. There's There was a hole in behind the toilet which is finally covered up. Now, when we got back... Um, at the beginning of January from, um, like, Christmas break, um, our toilet was in the tub. So, but the plumber, the guy who was here, he was super nice and he did so much for us by himself in, like, only a couple days and he, he did amazing. So I'm really happy for him, but, like, like, I'm happy that we had him. Um, but it was just so frustrating that all of this kept happening. And the reason why we kept getting floods were because people are so stupid and we're flushing clothing, kitty litter, uh, and then all the other things that go down the toilet. All of that was being flushed down and causing, you know, like clogs and causing whatever. Like, who puts kitty litter and clothing in toilets but yeah so people were doing that uh, I hope it has stopped um, they got everything out so that's what kept happening is they didn't get everything out at first so it just kept like getting worse and worse and worse until they finally in December was able to get it all out so hopefully that that doesn't happen again because this is ridiculous we've only been here for six months and we've probably spent hundreds of more dollars than we've had to and it's ridiculous so yeah so we have had many 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 issues I love the layout of this apartment I love that it's a two-bedroom I love the closets and just the way it is um it still doesn't it doesn't exactly feel like home. Uh, I don't know, but maybe it's because of all the issues we've had. But like, this is still our first apartment, and it like it means something, and it's like, it's exciting, and it's just frustrating. Um, and uh, yeah, so other than all of the issues that there has been. It's been nice. <laughs> um, also, um, the it's just, in my mind, there's things that I'm thinking constantly that I shouldn't have to think of. Like, whether, like, we had, so the washer and dryers here are in the basement. And the washer and dryers that we had before were good. They worked. And then they decided to change them. And they just became worse. So now every time we go to do laundry, it's wondering, oh, are we going to put our clothes in here, put our soap in and get ready to pay for it to not work? Because sometimes they just don't work. And it's frustrating. Um, so yeah, there's just always thoughts of like, oh, I wonder if this is going to break today or I wonder if this is going to work today or it's like... It's, it's too much. It's, it's just... Grrr. Growing up, I always told myself I would never live in an apartment because I just didn't have good feelings about them. I 
I just, I never had good feelings about, about, about apartment buildings. Uh, but this is where we're at. <laughs> um, and I'm very happy to have this place. I really am. It's just, there's too many issues, but whatever. It's fine. Eventually we'll get a house. <laughs> um, yeah. So that's what it's been like. Um, but everything else that people like, would say, oh, you gotta make sure you do this, you gotta make sure you do that. It's like, yeah, that's the easy part about all of this. <laughs> that's not the hard part. Um, yeah, so... Also... For anyone who lives on their own, I just want to tell you, don't let other people tell you what you should and shouldn't do. Do what you want to do. Live your life because it is your life and nobody should be trying to control it for you. Um, unless you're like, like a murderer or something. Only listen to them if you're like completely psycho and they're trying to help you not be psycho. I know that was extreme, but like only listen to them if you were just not making good decisions. If you, if you are living your life and not hurting anybody and doing things that really don't concern other people, then don't listen to them. Because I, the entire time I've been living here, um... I have always been thinking about what everybody else is going to think when I shouldn't be. Because if I want to do something, I will do it if it's not hurting anybody and if it's not going to affect anybody else but me. Like, we are officially living on our own. And we are going to make decisions for ourselves. There are many things that I want to do. But I have not done them and am not doing them because I am still scared of what people are going to say. Because more people have things, more people have negative things to say than positive. That's just how it is. Because people try to control your life. Um, so whatever happens in our life and whatever we decide or whatever happens... It's going to be our decision and it's going to be our lives, whether people accept it or not. Um, I'm at the point in my life where I really don't care um, because I am not living for anyone else but me. And that's how it should be. If you're going to worry about what people have to say all the time, you're not going to live your life the way you want to so that's just kind of just I can't be fake with people anymore like I can't not not that I was ever being fake because I hate fakes but <laughs> I I was always afraid to say how I actually felt so I'm gonna say this for everybody out there do what you want with your life don't let anybody stop you because if you let them stop you you're just gonna regret your life decisions and if you do something or if you're in a situation and you don't like it then you get out of it but if you're in situations that you like and everyone else doesn't like it then don't stop because we are all here to live our own lives. We are not here to live lives for other people. We are here to, to do what we want in life. And I have been too scared of what everyone else has to say. Because some people just don't know when to shut up. Okay? I could go on for hours 
about life and about specific things. And there are lots of things in my life that I don't even think that I've talked about on social media or talked to with most people because I've been scared of what people are going to think and what people have to say because I know that if, if other people are allowed to judge me and are allowed to say things about me and my life and my decisions, why should I be scared to tell them how it is for me? Right? If other people are allowed to judge, why can't I speak up for myself? And yeah, I, to I, I told you guys, this video is just going to be about me rambling on. Like, this probably is going to be the third part by now because this is like an hour and a half long of me just talking and getting this all out. And maybe I'm just making these videos for me. Maybe I'm making them because I need to tell myself these things. But by putting them out there, we'll also help people who, like, I just, I just want to help people, like, understand... Because I'm having a hard time with it myself. Um, I want to use my platforms and, and social media to, to just help out people and to educate people. And that's really all that I... It just sucks. <laughs> Ugh. Just... Uh. Huh. Grr. I'm just talking. I'm just talking to let this out. And whatever people take from it, they take from it. But, um, and I've always said this, I use YouTube specifically to be extremely real with people because a lot of people aren't real on social media and you'll never find me being somebody that I'm not on social media. And sometimes if I don't talk about something, it's not that it's because it's not me. It's because I just don't feel comfortable putting it out there yet. But I'm at the point where I'm going to start um, talking about how I feel about things and educating people on things and bringing more positivity into this world and there are obviously going to be so many negative things said and I just want to be one of those people that takes it. It's like if you don't like what I have to say that's that's your issue and not mine um because that's life that is life and I've learned a lot just from being around people and seeing how people really are and, and seeing how one-minded people are um, and who, who just aren't open to learning about things. Um, and I would love, even if I get hate for it, I just want to start, you know, ugh. It would be, so, oh man. There's so much I can say. So much I can say. So I've talked about school. I've talked about living here. And I've talked about life itself. So I guess the whole point of this video... Oh, I have another thing I want to talk about. Yeah, I have another thing that I want to talk about. Okay, so anyways, the whole point of this video is to help people to... Looks like I don't have arms. Look at me. Why is my hair so... It looks so straight and like perfect here. But then you come here and it's like, whoa! <laughs> okay. Recap. From all of these videos. College, don't listen to your teachers. 
listen to people who are actually in college in this moment because they will tell you the truth um don't be scared I was terrified for my first day of school and then after the first week it was like this is great um so yeah so listen to listen to college students and not your teachers um if you are living on your own do your best do what makes you happy um you know have your own uh way of of dealing with everything like in in your environment um yeah just do your best and if you do need help don't be afraid to reach out but if you if you are doing good with something and it, if you're not you know struggling with anything then you just keep doing doing you and you know just just do it I don't know. um uh friends make friends but really watch really watch who people are um and don't let anyone take advantage of you. Don't you ever let anybody take advantage of you. I have way too many times. And it's not worth it. It's not worth it. Draw people. Draw people who don't deserve you. Okay? If if they're doing nothing but making you stressed and and making you not feel good about yourself, then you just don't need them in your life. Um, so there's that. Don't live your life for anybody else but yourself. Because if you're living for anybody else but yourself, you're going to be miserable. Been there, done that. Um, and I'm still struggling because I still feel like I need to live and do what everybody else wants me to do. Um, yeah. Um, so there's that. Overall, just do your best. Um, reach out if you need help. And do what makes you happy. And if you have your way of doing things and people try to tell you that that's not how you do it, you just say, cool, thank you, and move on and keep doing you. Um, yeah, so that is that. This video has just been me talking for an hour and a half straight ha ah. <laughs> well uh okay the last thing that i want to talk about is my plans for this year so i have plans but i don't i'm not setting things I'm not setting goals for specific dates because I used to do that and it just never worked. I have these new programs on my laptop that I got for Christmas that I'm super excited about, but I'm super stressed about also. I am going to be recording my own music now and releasing it when I want. I, I'm going to be my own director, my own producer, and my own writer and that I'm doing everything myself is what I'm trying to say it is extremely stressful to think about because I'm absolutely horrible with technology but I am learning um, how to use this software this um, program um, so I will eventually be releasing my own music um, so I will keep you guys updated on that, but I am still trying to figure out how to use it. Also, I have a professional video editing, um, program also, so I'm, st I still got to learn how to use that. Um, but this might be the last video where I use iMovie, even though this is more like just plain like I'm just gonna take out like the little like pauses or or like if I had to go somewhere like everything else I'm not editing what I say I'm not doing any of that it's just gonna be 
like it, it's just gonna be this um yeah so hopefully my next videos are soon enough um they will be done on a professional program which i'm also really excited about it's just i'm super stressed about it i'm getting a headache just thinking about it because i'm so bad with technology but i'm going to learn because i really want this <laughs> Um, yeah, so if you really want something, don't give up and, and do your best and just just keep working at it until until you get what you want. <laughs> until you get what you want. Um, yeah, so... Oh, my neck hurts. Um, yeah, so I will be doing that stuff and hopefully filming some more i will be uploading videos that i've had in my ipad <laughs> um for probably like years now um i gotta start i just i'm just too lazy to edit them but if i when i learn that new program then it might be easier i don't know but um yeah so I think that's it. An hour and a half. That's probably going to be possibly four videos of me just talking. Wow. <laughs> um, I feel like I keep having to say things to like just tell people. I don't know. But I do not accept any negativity anymore. I don't need negative comments. I don't need people to tell me how to do things. I don't need people just being grumpy pantses. <laughs> I just want positivity. That's all I want. That is all I want. And I'm just over. I'm just over all the negativity. I am over I'm over what people have to say. <laughs> I'm just over it. Uh, I see too much of it on social media every day. And I'm like, nah, no thank you. So if you have something to say, uh, don't say it. Thank you. <laughs> just be positive and just be happy for me. And, and just be happy for everyone around you. And stop judging people for who they are. Stop. Stop judging people's lives. Stop judging their decisions. Stop being mean. Just stop. Just be a nice person. That's all I want. That's all we all want. But we still find ways to judge people. So, yeah. Uh, I think I want to make a new outro. Like, wording-wise. I don't know. But, um, I love you if you are a good person i love you if you are a supportive person i love you if you don't judge people i love you if you're gay i love you if you support gay <laughs> i love you if you um are supportive of people and their life decisions that are good life decisions and not crimey life decisions and even if you think something is a bad decision, but it's not affecting you or hurting anybody, then you just forget about it because it's not your life. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> I'm tired. I have a headache. I've been getting headaches every night. Ugh. Stupid. Stupid. Yeah, so I might do more talking videos. I might not. I don't know. These ones are easy to film. And yeah. So anyways, um, I love you if you're different. 
and I love you if you care and I love you if you don't judge and um, if you do any of those things bye <laughs> Okay, um, I do also want to do more educational video, educational videos on things that I've learned, um, and just things in life now that people don't really understand, so I'm probably going to make videos like that to educate people because a lot of people need educating, educating. So yeah, I'm gonna stop talking now. This is the fourth video. Yeah. Okay, well, I will see you guys in my next video. And if you didn't like these videos, I don't care. Um, now that I've gotten all of that out, all of my stress and all of my issues and all of my things that I've needed to say for now. Um, this is me and this is how I feel and and realness from this channel is all you will get. And I am going to try and be more positive and I will try to just be real all the time and if you like it you like it and if you don't you don't because it's not my issue and yeah so i will see you guys in the next video make sure to be kind be nice and don't judge and support the gays i love you bye oh, i forgot to show you my sketch this is all i've gotten done in an hour and a half of sketching <laughs> Cause I was too busy talking like, okay, bye-bye. I can't get much higher.